Greetings, this is Emily and I'd like to welcome you to this unit edit video. Does the journal need my paper formatted in a special way? Most journals have strict formatting requirements. Journal papers need to be styled and formatted in specific ways to meet the strict formatting guidelines of journals. Each journal has their own formatting requirements. Some families of journals have similar formatting requirements for all the journals in that family. Some publishers even have their own formatting requirement for most journals that they publish. Two aspects, presentation and style. The formatting guidelines for a journal can be broken down into two parts, presentation and style. Combined, these guidelines help the editorial team of the journal maintain a consistent formatting style throughout their journal, present peer reviews with readable products, and simplify the proofreading and copy editing stages once papers become accepted. Presentation Guidelines Presentation guidelines refer to the way the paper is visually presented to the reader, including the spacing, line, and page numbering, font size, and margins. These aspects give the journal a unique look and feel. Style Guidelines Style guidelines refer to the stylistic aesthetic of the journal and include the format of the abstract, i.e. numbered paragraphs or single paragraphs, figure and table layout and caption placement, figure size and quality, and referencing and citation styles. These aspects are for consistency to improve the reading experience. What does the author need to do? As an author, you need to find the author's instructions for formatting your paper before you submit the paper. Many aspects of the formatting and presentation are the responsibility of the authors. Some aspects, however, will be handled by the journal after the paper is accepted. Practical example for life sciences. Within the life sciences, formatting guidelines vary among journals. Some journals require continuous line numbering, while others prohibit the use of footnotes. Typically, formatting guidelines are endemic to the publishing company. For example, British Ecological Society journals promote their own style and presentation that is consistent across all of their journals. Other publishing companies and journals will use their preferred formatting guides and styles. The most varied aspect of formatting journals is the in-text referencing style. Journals adhere to their chosen referencing style, for example, APA or Harvard, and have specific guidelines on the presentation of cited works. For example, functional ecology has quite the detailed referencing guidelines. In contrast, the ecology journal Okios is less strict about in-text style and only provides brief details. When the journal states no specific guidelines, as long as authors choose a consistent style, they can use their best judgment and discretion. Practical example for social sciences. Within the social sciences, there tend to be strict style guidelines that are adhered to by the journals. For example, psychology and social work journals typically use APA style, the guidelines for which are outlined by the APA Style Manual 6th Edition. Other popular styles are 
AMA, Harvard, and Vancouver. While APA is most common, it is advisable to check the guidelines for the individual journal to check for style specifications, and some journals have specific individual formatting requirements. Once again, this is Emily from UniEdit. I hope you have a wonderful day.